right, welcome. Today is a Wednesday. April 28th. And I am in Marietta, Pennsylvania right now. I don't know what that car is doing. Huh, I don't know if they know what they're doing. And uh, had to do a different run. So I'm delivering to Conestoga, Pennsylvania to a different ice cream company. And uh, just had to do one run because there's a bunch of trucks broke down right now. And then we'll be back to our Vermont run here tomorrow. Thanks for joining me, guys. Yeah, so we're down here in Pennsylvania today. Delivering to Conestoga, we're about 10 miles away. And I got my wish. Winter is gone here. It is 86 degrees outside. So just a few days ago, I was driving in the snow and now it's summer here. <laughs> feels kind of good I got the AC on right now I uh, got down here last night around 2 30 in the morning and parked at the sheets little sheets truck stop here on River Road We gotta go over here to the plant, which I says about 10 miles, I think, right, roughly 10 miles away. Do a drop and hook there, and uh, yeah, surprise, surprise, I got popped for a random drug test. They said they've been trying to get get me for a couple weeks. I've been on the list. You know, they don't let you know, and because once they tell you, you have to get it done by federal law. It's got to be done within a certain amount of time. So. Me being always up in Vermont in real northern New York, they don't have really a lot of clinics up that way. So they were watching me apparently, and I had my phone on do not disturb this morning because I didn't want to get disturbed when I was on my 10 hour break. And when I looked at my phone, I had 10 missed calls from Landstar. So I knew what it was. It's the uh, same routine every time. So we're gonna go over here and drop and hook the trailer and there's a, a place up here in Lancaster, PA. It's pretty much on the way. Going back up to uh, New York, back up to Fulton, New York. So it's on the way. Looks like it's uh, right across the street from a Lowe's. It's a Med Express location. So I should be able to just park there at Lowe's and walk across the street. <coughs> so. Not too bad. Should work out. Yeah, we're on Route 441 here in Pennsylvania. This is River Road. Follows the Susquehanna River or the Delaware River? I think maybe it's the Susquehanna River. Can't remember it right offhand. It sure is summer like here compared to way up north where I've been. Most of the leaves are out. Everything's in bloom. Everything's so green. Yeah, I don't know if you can uh, see it off in the distance. The river is straight ahead of us. We're 
Just went over a little hump here, coming back down. Ah, I don't know if that's the Susquehanna or the Delaware. Somebody tell me. <laughs> well, so far so good. I haven't got a ticket for my cracked windshield yet. Today is Wednesday. We got an appointment for Monday. All we got left to do is get back up and pick up our waterberry for tomorrow. We got to pick up one more waterberry to deliver Friday sometime. And uh, make it out to Ohio without getting that ticket. These loads here coming down to Conestoga are about half the weight of the ones going to Vermont, which Vermont's not very heavy anyway. They're about 15, 16,000 pounds. This load I got here is only like 6,800. I think the difference is, is uh, the loads going up to Vermont are on check pallets. And I guess the containers weigh a little bit more that we take up to Vermont. These loads here are on really these super lightweight plastic pallets. Pennsylvania here. This is the railroad industrial area of town here. guys we are uh, leaving our delivery here we did our drop and hook now we got to head into Lancaster PA for our drug test
25 right now. Yeah, I'm probably going to get stuck in Harrisburg right about 5 o'clock. <laughs> oh well, what are you going to do? Nothing I can do about it. It's a warm one out there though. I think it's like 87 now. My outside thermometer is showing 90, but I've been sitting for a few minutes up there, so that might not be right. It's really, uh, it feels really super hot when you've just been in the snow a couple of days ago. It is shorts weather, but I don't have any shorts on me, in, in the truck with me. Yeah, so we're going to run this river road, Route 441, uh, back over to US 30. We'll take US 30 right into Lancaster. And there's supposed to be a Lowe's right across the street from this clinic where I can park at. And we'll see how crowded it is there. Actually, I could turn right here on this 999, but I'm not supposed to be on that road with a truck, so that would take me right to where I need to be, but we don't want to do that, get, in, get a ticket or something. So we'll get this drug test out of the way, and then we'll head north. We'll stop in Bingington, New York at the uh, TA and fill up. Then we'll get up to Fulton, do our drop and hook, have our dinner. And head for Vermont, see where we can make it to. All 
right, we got our random drug test all done, and we're actually all the way up here on 81 now. We're north of uh, Wilkes-Barre Scranton. Kind of looking like it's going to rain out. We still got 80 degrees here. But I think it's going to rain. Sure looks like it. We'll be making a stop up in Bingington in about 45 miles or so. They're going to get fuel and death fluid and all that good stuff. This road is rough. My throat is feeling a little scratchy and my nose has been running a little bit. I think being down there where it was so warm and a lot of pollen and stuff in the air. I think I got a little of that seasonal allergy going on. Surprisingly, the traffic was not real bad coming up to Harrisburg. And I was there right around 5 o'clock. It didn't really, wasn't bad at all. I think there's a lot less traffic, I guess, on the road nowadays. It's like rush hour traffic I'm talking about now. Uh, a lot of people working from home still and all that. I mean, there was a lot of vehicles and it was crowded, but it, there was no backups or anything. we get a heavy downpour here but I don't know looks like rain they said there's supposed to be thunderstorms but get a heavy downpour and uh, get some of the salt cleaned off the truck from last week
right, so we're just about here at the TA in Binghamton. We did have a little bit of rain. Never had a downpour though, just kind of a steady rain. And temperatures drop now, we're down to 63 from the upper 80s earlier. in the fuel island. Wowzers. afternoon guys it is the next day and we're in Malone here headed up to Waterbury Vermont yeah we just uh, getting our day going started out from the Walmart here in Malone that's where I parked last night Got a little bit of a scratchy throat this morning. I don't know if it's from all the pollen yesterday. Either that or I'm getting sick, I hope not. Kinda got a scratchy throat and my nose is a little stuffy. So I'm thinking it's from all the pollen in the air that was down in Pennsylvania yesterday. go over and drop and hook this one at Waterbury, bring the empty back to Fulton, grab another Waterbury as far as I know. I haven't got the load info yet, but uh, that's what I was supposed to do. So, grab that one tonight. Try to make it back up to the uh, Walmart here in Malone. It's like school's getting out here. Nice and easy. And go deliver that tomorrow, and then we'll go home. We'll be home really late Friday night. We'll be home on Saturday, and then Sunday I'm going to take off from home and head towards Ohio to get to the shop for Monday morning. I could wait until Sunday late afternoon, but... Uh, I haven't decided yet, but I might stop on the way out at a Speedco out in Austinburg, Ohio. And get a three box change on the truck. What I mean by three box fluid change would uh, change all the synthetic oil in the uh, transmission and the both rears. And then have them pull the two front wheels and rotate them and balance them. Got a, got a shimmy in the front end. I think I got a, hopefully it's just an out of, out of balance tire, not a out of round tire. And then for 
first thing Monday morning we'll get the windshield done and then rest of the work on the truck the servicing and the cab lights and it's gonna check out <clears throat> my left front wheel seal and brake pads something about these newer this newer set of brake pads I got on here they collect dirt in the rivet there's like rivet holes in the middle of the pad and they fill up with dirt and crap and salt and whatnot from the road and that part gets harder than the brake shoe so we're getting a little bit of grooving in the uh, brake drum up there in the left front plus it squeaks once in a while so you're gonna look at that probably had to pull that wheel off and pull the drum look at the pads clean everything up I imagine oh yeah and we're getting the new air dryer too so the cab lights turns out I'm gonna keep the same lights I got but we got new seals for them there's an updated seal for these lights that stops the water intrusion so hopefully we can get the old ones out without breaking anything I was saying earlier though I hope I'm not getting sick I don't have any fever or anything I'm not kind of worried about COVID but it may be allergies but I think there is a like a sinus not a sinus infection but maybe like a head cold going around where people get a sore throat and runny nose and congestion see we'll know by tomorrow if I'm still feeling feeling like this it's probably not the pollen because it's not too much pollen activity up here yet about an hour to the ferry and uh, then we'll be going across the lake and headed into Vermont. Alright guys, we have been over to Waterbury, did our drop and hook, and we're on the ferry coming back across to New York, and I'm going to start getting my dinner ready for when I get back down to Fulton. So, let's see, what's in my fridge? We got hamburger meat, that's a little cheese, we got some olives here, some salsa, some southwest style salad, butter, pico di gallo, Italian dressing, sour cream, some American cheese and some bacon and what we're gonna have tonight is hamburger patties yay <laughs> hamburger patties and I got some leftover green beans and some Brussels sprouts well, what we're gonna do where's the hot logic All right. 
right, we got the hot logic here, and we are going to put a piece of foil in it in the Pyrex. Now I just really started liking using this foil. It makes things a lot quicker to clean up. <laughs> just throw the foil away. All right. Get my knife here. And I got a bunch of these hamburger patties in the freezer up on the top bunk there so I always date everything and make sure I'm using the oldest stuff first there we go patty you know what I find too is the easy way to get these papers off here when they've been frozen like that just put your hand on it not for very long just put your hand right on the paper and it should come right off usually it comes right off <laughs> this side's still a little frozen things making a liar out of me yep yeah we didn't get it all this is what is a pain. <laughs> that should do it. Yeah, one last little piece. All right, we got all the paper off it. Let's stick these in here. These burgers here are kind of seasoned. I get these at Walmart. They're called Steakhouse. They come in a pack of four. And then I just put them into uh, a freezer bag like one of these with uh, the date on it. So I get two and two because I always have two for a meal. I'm not eating any bread or anything with it. So we'll put those in the cooker. And we got a plug right down here. And let's, we can get it plugged in. There we go. And I'll leave that on the floor while I'm driving. So later when I get closer, like down below Watertown, I will stop and put the hamburger patties on top of each other on one side of the hat logic. I'll make a little tray here with my vegetables. Finish up these beans. Oh, that's a lot of beans. Yeah, finish up those beans. And we'll start. Usually you're supposed to put this whole bag in the microwave and steam it, but I find it better. I just do it like this. A couple of Brussels sprouts. And that should be good for vegetables. Put this right into the, no sense in wasting that baggie. And put the rest of my butter in here. So I'm just gonna put the butter on there. That's all set to go when I stop. I'll just put that in the hot logic and that'll about an hour or so that'll be fine keep this in the freezer for now and I guess I need to put those in the freezer let's see I guess we're far enough from the dock I can cut up some salad I think I'm gonna have the salad I got upstairs here
Yeah, this is the uh, spinach and spring mix. Baby spinach, baby lettuce blend, baby greens, and I could never say that. Radish co? Radico? We'll put some greens here. All right, I like my salad chopped, so we're gonna do that. Or the best we can with just a steak knife. Okay, a little bit more. And then I'll grab a bowl up here. Let's see, grab a bowl. So we got a nice big bowl of salad to eat. Okay. And uh, let me see, I need a baggie. Put that salad bowl in the bag. And yeah, keep that plate, no sense in throwing that plate away. I'll just set that in here. And I think I'm gonna add some bacon in it tonight. So if I got time here, I'm gonna get this ready. Just get it out of the package. Yeah, we're coming into the dock. Get another bag. Just set this up here. That should be good. And when I get down to Fulton. Before I get out to drop and hook my trailer, I'll stick that in the microwave for four minutes. And that's gonna be dinner tonight. We're gonna have two hamburger patties with pico and American cheese on them. Uh, some green beans, some Brussels sprouts with butter and salt, and um, that nice green salad with olives and bacon in it. That should be pretty good dinner. Alright guys, we are just rolling into Potsdam, New York. It started raining. It's supposed to rain most of the night tonight, I think. We got 54 degrees outside right now. This is a double turn lane here, but I need to take up both of them.
because it's a pretty sharp corner right here and not gonna fit with a car beside me. This is like downtown. Most of the downtown is to the left here. We're just kind of going around the town on Route 11 here. Come on, guys, let's go. Well, we got an arrow. Yeah, I don't like passing on the right here, but don't know why he's hanging out there. Guess I won't be passing him, not yet anyway, and out with the red light. Mr. Buster Brown, UPS. Got about 134 miles left to go. That's if we go straight into uh, Fulton. Uh, I think we're gonna go and stop at Central Square first and get fuel, so. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you can only do one side at a time here. I usually fill up this side first, go over, fill up the other side, and then uh, top this side back off. Because it'll start to level itself out even a little bit after, you know, while I'm feeling.
right, so I am back down at uh, Fulton. Done my drop and hook already. Time to eat dinner. <clears throat> so we'll get out our plate and salad that we put in earlier. A little salad dressing. Some olives and some American cheese for the uh, hamburgers. Let's see how this came out. Now we did stop at the rest area by Watertown and put the vegetables in. Yeah, I think they're done. Oh yeah. All right, we'll take our two hamburger patties. Put them on there. Oh yeah, I want to put some uh, pico on there. Take some pico on top. Probably can't see much, can you? Let's fix that. There we go. That's probably going to be better. Look at our cheese. that in the mic for a minute and a half all right this is what I mean about easy cleanup all I gotta do is take the uh, the grease without spilling it put that right in the garbage can I shut this truck off before I burn up. I left the heat on. All right, so we got, uh, ooh, we only got 14 minutes before we start losing driving time because of my 14. Let's get our water. Ooh, it got warm in here. Uh, here's our beans and Brussels sprouts. All right, see, our Pyrex is still clean. Excellent. Now let's get take this vinegar so we can get rid of that. Yeah, so what I do is uh, leave about that much water in the bottle. I like to do this over the garbage. I'll pour what I think is two teaspoonfuls into the bottle. This stuff stinks. One, two. Mm -hmm. That might have been a little over. That's all right. I don't think it'll hurt you. Yeah, that apple cider vinegar, to me, it smells like dirty feet. 
I'll shake it up good. Just drink it like medicine. All right. Yummy. Woo! All right, let's get our salad together. As our bacon turned out all right, I'll just rip that up and put it in here. Oh, it's hot. That is hot. All right. Ouch. And let's see, some olives. Let's mix this up a little bit. Put some olives in there. And there you go. A little salad dressing. All right, so there you have it, folks. This is dinner. Two cheeseburgers with pico on it underneath the cheese. Brussels sprouts and green beans. Uh, a spring mix salad with bacon and olives. Delicious. All right, guys, good morning. We are up in uh, Malone. I guess it's good afternoon, really, but it's my morning. And uh, I am sick. I thought maybe it was allergies, but uh, definitely have a little bit of congestion and uh, a little scratchy throat and stuff. But uh, I'm actually feeling better today than I was yesterday, so whatever it is, it probably ain't COVID because I didn't really get that sick. <laughs> I don't think it is. Never had a fever or anything like that, so. I believe uh, I'll probably be all right by tomorrow or the next day. Anyway, we just got our pre-trip done, and we're getting ready to go over and drop in Waterbury, Vermont, and uh, then we're going home. So this video is getting a little long-winded here, and we'll cut this one off here, and uh, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. That's what helps the channel the most, giving me that thumbs up. Anyway, uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Take her easy. Bye.